everyone welcome back to my channel Jojo budgets hello there my name is Jojo today's video I am going to be closing out sinking funds for the month of August I have a lot of different sinking funds I love sinking funds they are just amazing so um, I'm going to be showing you guys how I use my paycheck budget sheets where I track my transactions throughout the month and transfer that those numbers over into this minus column and then figure out what our ending balance is and get everything set up for the month of September. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are at my paycheck budget sheets. There's lots of different columns on here that cover income, fixed expenses, variable expenses, and then here is where I have my sinking funds table and the weeks that it's covering. This, we had three paychecks for the month of July, but you can see that the dates that it covered really kind of fell more into August. So this is paycheck number three, weeks five and week six. And when I do my weekly check-ins, you guys can see how I use my transaction logs to track expenses from these categories. And then there's also this debt table at the bottom. These sheets are available on my Etsy shop. I will leave the link in the description box below if you um, like the look of these sheets and feel that they would work well for you. So I'm gonna be pulling information from paycheck number three and from paycheck number one. So you can see it really encompasses most of August for the sinking funds. And since I'm going to be doing sinking funds for the month of August, closing those out, these are the two paycheck sheets we're using. And just some things that we had purchased. There was lots of back to school shopping, um, clothes for kids, home maintenance items. I honestly can't remember what this one was. I know this was um, some solar panel plugins for our outdoor cameras to keep them charged. And then this was our waste management bill. We had a lot of back to school, as you can see. And then my um, father-in-law had a birthday in August as well. All right, so I'm gonna get you guys switched back over to the sinking fund sheet, but this is just where I'm pulling those numbers from. And then if you wanna see how those get plugged into these sheets, I'll re I'd refer you to look at the week six, paycheck number three, weekly check-in, and then the week one and week two, paycheck number one, weekly check-ins, if you wanna see how those are generated from my transaction log. All right, here we are back at the August sinking funds sheet. Um, now we will take those numbers from the sinking funds tables from the paycheck budget sheet and plug those in and figure out what our ending balances are with our contributions, what we had used and um, transcribe that to September. So the first one we have was home maintenance and we had used 100 $88.86. So I can already see that we are going to be over budget on this one, but I, we were, we're new to budgeting and sinking funds was a whole new concept for me. I just started it like a few months ago, so I'm not really sure what to contribute just yet. Um, but there are some categories like this back to school one where we have way more than um, we're going to need. And so I think I'm going to be transferring some of that money to help out some of these other categories that we're using more heavily. Um, but this is a learning process, you know, and it's it's your money. None of this stuff is set in stone. You're just making the system work, um, using the system to make it work best for you. All right, so that was home maintenance. Next, we had our, if we come down the line, we had our waste management bill. That was $80, $83.07. Then clothes for kids, we had spent a... Oh, whoops. I had written down close for kids under home maintenance. You guys, Whiteout has really become my friend. Okay, so home maintenance, we spent two, twelve, eighty-seven. Close for kids, we spent one eighty-eight, eighty-six. 
right and then gifts and holidays we had spent $54.95. Okay, and back to school down here, we spent $88.79. I do have some more back to school shopping to do. My oldest who started high school, I think the school's just was figuring out, he's on a hybrid where he does um, every other day alternating virtual and in-person. The teachers, I think, were trying to figure out what supplies the kids would need. So we didn't get his supply list until um, mid first week of school. So I still need to go and finish getting him some things that were on that list. Next for this interest and my face category, um, we are now using Velocity Banking. So this account is housed within our HELOC. I will leave a link to my Velocity Banking video in the description box below if you wanna check that out. It's a very abstract concept. Um, it's certainly not conventional, but this is used to be housed within a checking account with my bank. And so there would be a little bit of interest tacked on. That is no longer a thing for now. And then this my face category, this is where I take any surplus from um, the spending money that I budget for myself um, per paycheck. And if I have anything left over, I transfer it to this sinking fund so I can save up for more expensive beauty purchases, things like that, that are not um, routinely purchased that I don't need every week or every other week. And I am adding seven dollars and five cents here. So, and then um, we didn't use anything from the rest of these. So we'll just go ahead and not subtract anything. Now, what I will do is. Go ahead and add, subtract, and come back with the ending balance. And then once I kind of see those numbers, I'll let you guys know what our decision is as far as um, if we're transferring and how much money we're transferring from the back to school fund to some of these other um, categories that are struggling a little bit. Okay, so everything has been filled out on here. You can see we are negative 98.44 for home maintenance now and negative 29.52 for gifts and holidays. But down here on this back to school, we still have $210.45 and we're gonna be contributing $50 every month to this category. I might actually um, shift that to maybe $25 a month since really back to school is one time of year and then um, contribute that $25 towards um, either home maintenance or gifts and holidays. I think I'm gonna do it towards home maintenance to beef that one up. But this 210.45, we don't need that much sitting around. So what I'm actually going to do is take $100 from it and add it to the home maintenance and then $50 and add it to gifts and holidays. So then I'm gonna be taking away $150 total from here to just redistribute that money to these categories. So now when I update my September sheet, the beginning balance is going to reflect that shift and then the contribution, the adding amount that I'm giving is going to reflect the decreasing the back to school by $25 and increasing home maintenance by $25. But the overall amount that is given is still going to be $930. So, um, down here at the bottom with the totals, you can see we started with $3,324.87. Kind of had to squish this one in, um, but it's $935 that I contribute every month. I had that $705 that um, came from my leftover spending money. So it was $942.05 that was contributed. We used $628.54. So we are ending with $3,638.38. Or I'm gonna go ahead and update my September sinking fund and I'll meet you guys back here. 
All right, so everything has been now transcribed to September. The ending balances from August are now a part of the beginning balances for September. You can see when I subtracted the 100 minus the 98.44, our new beginning balance for home maintenance is 156. And then for Gifts and holidays, our new beginning balance is $20, a positive $20.48. And then home maintenance is now getting $75 instead of $50. And back to school is getting $25 instead of $50 a month. But that's um, now we're all set up for September. Sinking funds have been reconciled and closed out for August. That is going to wrap up the video for sinking funds. Everything's been closed out. We're set up for September. I will um, see you guys next week when I upload my weekly check-in and budget forecast. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend.